Have you ever had a sudden realization that you're stuck in one place or that you simply move where life takes you like a feather in the wind? If you cannot control your own mind, then you go through life with zero control, zero influence. You can't control anything. You're just a feather in the wind waiting for life to blow you from happy place to sad place to happy place to sad place. Isn't this a frustrating feeling? But what if I told you that there is a way to break away from that pattern? To not just go with the flow, but to carve your own path and stay ahead of others. Let me introduce you to someone who knows a thing or two about staying ahead of the game. And his name is Ayano Koji. Now, at first glance, Ayano Koji might not seem like much. He always remains quiet and often fades in the background. But here's the thing. While others may see him as lagging behind, the truth is that he is always one step. Or dare I say, two steps ahead of everyone else. He is like a master chess player, always thinking several moves ahead while the rest of the class are still figuring out their next move. But what exactly are these personality traits that enable Ayane Koji to stay ahead of the game? And how can we apply them to our own lives to gain a similar advantage? To find that answer, we need to dig deeper into the world of Ayane Koji and study how his character holds the secrets of keeping ahead of everyone else. So let's get started. The Art of Observing Ayanikoji's observation skills in the anime are indeed impressive. In the latest episodes of the third season, we really get to see how sharp his observations are. Despite his quiet demeanor, he is constantly taking in everything around him, like when there were rumors spreading about Ichinose. Ayanikoji was silently observing her and the situation, putting together the puzzle without saying much. He demonstrated his keen sense of observation when Kamuro tried to influence him into making a move. He didn't just accept what was presented to him, he analyzed the situation, even down to the expiration date on the beer can. By noticing that the can was a year short of the current date, he deduced that it was Sagayanaki who planned the whole thing. This shows just how crucial observation skills can be, even when you are not actively engaging with others. Observation is indeed an art. It's about noticing the often overlooked details and seeing them from a fresh perspective. When you are observant, you are not just bystanders, you are active participants uncovering new possibilities and understanding your surroundings better. Improving your observation skills is something anyone can do. Start by consciously looking for details in your surroundings. Take a moment each day to notice the smaller, less obvious things around you. And try to minimize distractions so that you can fully immerse yourself in what you are observing. And when you notice something, be specific about it. Instead of saying there were people in the room, count exactly how many there were. In real life, improving your observation skills can be incredibly valuable. For instance, consider how the world is advancing towards AI. By observing the trends and developments in AI and technology, we can identify which skills will be crucial for our own growth and professional success. We can also observe how AI is being utilized in various industries and explore how we can leverage it to enhance our own work and productivity. Which brings us to the second and the most crucial point, and that is, don't just plan, execute it too. So with Ainokoji, it's not just about having a plan in mind, it takes it a step further by actually putting it into action. Take the situation with Ichinose for instance. When he discovered that Sagayanaki was spreading rumors about her, Ainokoji wasted no time. He executed a plan to not only counter the rumors but also to emotionally strengthen Ichinose. He strategically informed the school student's vice president about the rumors, highlighting the damage it could do to the school's reputation. Simultaneously, he planned a crucial role in breaking Ichinose emotionally, but it wasn't a cruel move. Instead, it was a way to help her rebuild herself stronger than before. This whole strategy was aimed at winning her trust and ensuring she didn't get expelled from the school. Now, why is this trait so important in real life? Well, think about it. How many times have you come up with a great idea or goal but nothing ever happened because you never took that first step? It happened to me too. But here's the thing, Ayanakoji's approach tells us that planning alone won't get us anywhere. We have to follow through and take action. Let's say you want to start a YouTube channel. You have all the great ideas in your head, but nothing will happen unless you sit down, record and upload your first video. It really is that simple. Just like how I stumbled to starting my own channel in 2019. I had all these grand plans, but I never took that first crucial step. But guess what? I learned from it. And when I finally did take action and uploaded that first video, there was no looking back. So if you have got a dream or goal, don't just plan it, do it too. Take that first step and who knows where it might lead you. Which brings us to the third point and that is, you need to know about the power of strategic networking. 
So in the last episode of the anime, Ayanokuji pulled off some seriously slick moves using his networking skills. It was seen that the class is facing a special test and the votes from a class poll decides who is in and who is out. The top 3 gets a protection point while the lowest ranked student is straight up expelled. Now Ayanokuji being the strategic genius he is, found out he was on the chopping block. How? Well, he reached out to his network, Karuizawa, and she spilled the tea that half the class was planning to vote him out. But Ayanokoji didn't panic at all. Instead, he used his trump card Kusida to dig deeper. And here's where it gets interesting. It turns out that Yamauchi was the one who was targeting Ayanokoji. But Ayanokoji, being the genius that he is, didn't step into the spotlight. He orchestrated the situation with Manabu Horikita, who let his sister take charge of the class poll to expel Yamochi, and Ayanokuji once again effectively dodged the bullet. Now let's think about how we can apply this trait to our own lives in order to stay ahead of others. Imagine you are starting a new business. Networking becomes critical in this scenario. You can't solely rely on your own skills and ideas. You must also cultivate relationships and connections that can lead to new opportunities and valuable insights. For instance, let's say you are trying to get funds for your startup. Instead of just cold calling investors, you could leverage your network to get introductions to key decision makers. Maybe a friend of a friend knows someone in the venture capital world who might be interested in your project. By using these connections, you increase your chances of getting the attention and support that you require. Networking is more than just who you know, it's also about how you use those ties strategically, much like Ayanokoji in the anime. By understanding the dynamics of the people around you, you can gather valuable information and influence outcomes. Whether you are starting a business or boosting your career, remember the power of networking. It is not enough to simply make relationships. You must strategically leverage those connections in order to stay one step ahead of the competition and achieve your goals. So as we wrap up this video, let's take a moment to reflect on what we have learned. Ayanokuji's story is more than just about a fictional character. It's a reminder that we all have the potential to make strategic moves in our own lives. It's not always about being the loudest voice in the room. Sometimes it's the quiet ones who make the biggest impact. So keep pushing forward with determination and confidence. And who knows what amazing achievements lie ahead for you. And you have got this. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.